Uh, Assalamualaikum everyone. In today's lecture, we will look at uh, the art, how to draw art in AutoCAD. We will explore the three different options. First of all, uh, the three point art, and the second one, the start center and the end point, and the th last one is the start center and angle. First of all, I, I look at the three point options. Okay, for this, you have to specify the three points. The first one uh, should be the start point, and the second one will be the any point on the arc, and the third point is basically the end point. So I'll select uh, the three point arc from here. Okay, uh, I'll select the first point and then the second point and this can be my third point okay you see this is this second second point was on the arc now uh, I'll show you uh, we can use basically these three point arcs we can draw three point arc between three different points in different ways okay first of all I have I have these three points I have the first point I have the second point and I have the third point I can draw the three point arc in two different ways. Uh, I'll, I'll select it, the three point arc from here. This is my first point. This is my second point. This second point will be on the arc. And uh, this is basically the third point. Because you see that the first point, uh, the, uh, the second point uh, that is on the arc, and the third point. I can draw this arc in another way as well. This time I specify this one as the first point. And this one is my second point and this one is my third point so you see that the second point is on the arc and the arc is now uh, is drawn uh, in a, uh, in the other direction this one about the three point arc for the second option we have the start center and the end point first i'll again draw a line i'll select the start center and the end point I'll select this one as my first point. Uh, now I'll have to specify the center point, so I'll select uh, the center of the uh, the midpoint of the line as a center. So and I'll select the end point. Okay, you see that the arc is drawn uh, in an anti-clockwise option. So this is my uh, the end point. Now uh, I can also draw uh, the arc using the same option, start center in the clockwise option. So I'll select this one as my first point and this one my again second point. But now before selecting the end point, I'll press the control. You see the dark will be shifted in the opposite direction. And uh, from here I can select the end point. Yeah, you just have to keep press the end point. Okay, I'll repeat. You have to specify the first point, the second point, and uh, press control and hold it, and then select the third point. Okay, this is the way you can draw uh, the arc using the start center and the end point. You can draw uh, the clockwise direction and you can also draw the anti-clockwise direction. For uh, the AutoCAD, uh, by default draws the uh, arc in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, to draw in the clockwise direction, you have to just uh, press and hold uh, the control key before selecting the final, uh, the end point. So I'll, I'll move to the third option that is the start center and angle option. So I'll select this one, but before that, uh, I'll just I'll just remove everything from my screen. I'll turn Arthur on to draw uh, to draw a straight line. So now I'll select the start center and the angle. So I'll specify this one as my first point, this one as my center point. And now I'll specify the angle okay, of uh, 80 degree. Okay, so I specify the angle uh, of 80 degree. So you see that basically the arc is drawn uh, in the anti-clockwise direction at an angle of 80 degree. So this is my 80 degree angle from start point. Okay, so I can uh, just look at that. I can uh, I can just click here as well. So you see that this is uh, my 80 degree angle. So you can read from here. So I'll again uh, select the start point, the midpoint, and now I specify the 270 degree. So it will draw an arc of 270 degree uh, in an anti-clockwise manner. To draw the arc in a clockwise manner, okay, you can uh, select the start, you can select the midpoint, and now you can specify the angle. In negative okay so if I spare the minus 80 degrees so it will it will draw the arc 
in clockwise direction. So you see that. So I, I get an arc in a clockwise direction. So I again now uh, specify the first point, specify the midpoint, and then uh, I'll specify the angle of minus 120 degrees. So uh, an, uh, an arc of 120 degrees uh, in a clockwise direction will be drawn. I can also use the control option as well. For example, I'll start, start, center angle. So, I'll, so I'll, I'll specify the first point. And first of all, I'll turn off the dynamic, uh, the auto mode. I'll specify the first point. I'll specify the midpoint. And to draw the arc in a clockwise direction, I'll have to press and hold the control key. And I have to select, I have to basically move my uh, mouse until I get 80 on my dynamic input. So now I'll select the 80 here. Okay, so if when I get the 80, so I'll press my left mouse button. So an arc of 80 degree will be drawn. Okay, so you, you just have to hold. Uh, uh, you cannot basically put the 80 degree from that uh, from uh, the keyboard for for this option. You have to just uh, press uh, mm, uh, the control key and hold it until uh, uh, you, you get the your desired angle on your on your screen. Okay, for example, I, I want to go for 120 degrees. So I'll go for 120 degree and then left click on the mouse button. So this is my arc okay these are the three options uh, to draw the arc and uh, in the next tutorial we will see uh, the other options as well thank you